Uh, my name is Bob Rastall. I'm Professor of Food Biotechnology here at the University of Reading. I've worked on prebiotic carbohydrates for over 20 years, uh, mainly interested in generating new ones and also trying to understand how they work within the human gut. The gut microbiome is actually the collection of bacteria and all of their genes that live within the human gut. There's a very, very complex ecosystem down there. Many, many different species of bacteria, all with different metabolic potentials, all interacting with each other and producing a variety of uh, organic acids and other compounds as metabolites. Well, the gut microbiome can impact health potentially in several different ways. For a start, the bacteria there can actually interact with your immune system and bring about immune changes. They can also help to regulate the leakiness of your gut to try and pre preserve the integrity of your gut and stop toxins from leaking out. The metabolites that are produced by the gut microbiome um, also have an impact on your health. Well, we can influence the activity of the gut microbiome, uh, mainly through diet. We know that our genetics do play a role, but principally it's the diet. And the gut microbiome will respond to diet quite rapidly, and it will change within a couple of days. It will change back again when you change your diet. So a diet rich in carbohydrates, particularly dietary fibers, complex carbohydrates, that will result in the formation of uh, possibly health positive metabolites called short chain fatty acids. It also stimulates the populations of bacteria in the gut that we can associate with health. A functional food is a food that has a specific health benefit beyond simple nutrition. All food is functional. It provides us nutrition, it keeps us alive. But functional foods are ones that will have a physiological effect or a health benefit in addition to the job of providing nutrition. The functional foods can reduce disease risk, maybe reduce disease severity, but they can't prevent disease or cure disease. An example of a prebiotic is oligofructose. An oligofructose fermentation by the gut microbiome will produce short-chain fatty acids as metabolites. And we believe that these short-chain fatty acids have the ability to regulate appetite. Another functional carbohydrate is glucomannan. Now, glucomannan has the ability of absorbing large amounts of water. If you consume dry glucomannan with a meal or shortly before a meal, and then you consume water shortly after that, it will expand in the stomach, making you feel fuller and also suppressing hunger. Chromium picolinate is there because it has been shown to help to maintain normal blood glucose levels after eating the meal. I hope we see more functional foods going forwards. EFSA are regulating functional food health claims very, very tightly. One thing with an EFSA claim is that it shows you there is rigorous science behind the product. Whether a functional food or a supplement, the important thing is to identify whether there is any really good science behind that product.